Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 382. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Magic Trick 381 to 386. 382, um, kind of similar but totally different than the trick we just did, 381. We're going to merge two lists, but here's a twist. We have list one with some dates, and this uh, field here has different data than uh, the second list. This one has a date too, um, and it's going to have uh, different or similar data here. And the trick here is when we, here's list one, when we find a match from list two, we actually need to extract this and this. So really the, sec the second column needs to be extracted from the first list and the second column from the first list. So this would be our result. We would come down in list one, we'd say it would we have to ask, is this one over here? It's not, so we skip over it. Is this date over here? It is, so we need to get the N3 and the N2 and bring them over here. Uh, similar, we, the orange one needs to be d deposited here and then the purple one there, the lavender one there. So really, find the match in the date column, extract two different columns from two different tables, make a new table. Let's go over here, we're going to look at two methods. The first method um, is the preferable method, I think. Uh, we have our whoops sh list here, and I'm just gonna. I I have this first uh, list, second list. I actually added this second column here, and then we'll just use this whole table to uh, do a simple filter and paste. All I'm gonna do is ask in this column, hey. Find this date, look it up over here, and return this value. If you can't find the date from list one over here in list two, then put a blank here. So you ready? We're going to use uh, uh, VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. The lookup value is going to be this, comma, the lookup table will be this whole table here, and we need to lock it because we're going down, so I'm going to hit F4 key twice, comma, if we're looking up the date, right here. VLOOKUP always looks in the first column and then we have to tell it which column to take a value from and dump it over here. So this is in the second column so we put a 2, comma, the uh, range lookup is either true or false. We need an exact match. So I'm not going to put false, I'm going to put 0. Close parentheses, control enter double click and send it down. We get an NA. There's uh, a few ways we could do this. In 2007, there's a great, because we need to get rid of that right there. Uh, or I want to put a blank in that cell. Actually, you know, we don't even need a blank. We could put something there, but uh, a lot of times you put um, a word not there or blank or something. But, you know, I don't mind the way that NA looks because all I want to do is take the records that don't have an NA and um, do filter and paste. So I'm actually going to highlight this table right here. Notice there is a word right here. That's dangerous when you're creating, uh, doing data analysis like filter, sort, pivot tables. But we can get around it this time, this one time. I usually never do this. This violates all the good data analysis rules. But I'm going to highlight the table in advance. I have some field names at the top, records and roles, and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut L right there. Control Shift L. By the way, these screen tips are awesome in 2007 to 2010. Uh, Control Shift L. Again, that's something I do a lot, so I know that keyboard shortcut. All we come, all we have to do now is click here. Ah, we want everything, and we can just uncheck N A and click OK. Now we have our little list, copy, and the cool thing about filter, which is different than like subtotals, when you have a filter, you can see the blue over here, it means some rows are missing. But when you copy a filtered list, it actually copies just the visible cells, not those hidden uh, rows or data underneath. Now I'm going to click here and control V. So there we have it, that we have accomplished our goal using V lookup and filter, and then filter the NAs out, and then copy and paste. Now, there is another method, and I'm not going to even uh, bother to, to show it here. I'm just going to show you the answer here. Uh, 
here we did I did if error and blank, but you didn't have to. You could do it like we did just a second ago with the NA. Um, I did some product because I wanted to count how many were not blank. So I looked through here. I deposited a blank when there was a record we didn't want. So now I put the symbol for not, less than, greater than, not blank, double negative, converted the trues and falses to ones and zeros, and some product added them. And then I did an array formula, which I have done this type of formula many times. If you had to do this, you didn't want to do that, whoops, if you didn't want to do that big uh, uh, filter, then here's the formula you could use. And I'm not going to go through this one. I've done similar formulas many times here. But if rows are less than that count, then do index. And you do the small if construction. You're looking at that same not blank. If that's true, then these will give us the row number for the index. And then this rows increments a number for the small. And that will extract those um, records all the way down and put a blank. If, if the data set is dynamic, then you uh, perhaps want to use this. Not only that, but if the data set was dynamic, meaning b both of these, I keep doing that, both of these were dynamic, you'd want to convert these to a list in 2003 or a table in 2007 or 10. And then these would be d uh, dynamic too. All right, uh, that is a little bit of a V lookup, uh, filtering, pasting to extract records from two different tables. We'll see you next trick.